Hey, what's up? This is Martha. I'm a room named Entertainment, and welcome to the episode of Business Building and Beyond. <laughs> There's been a lot we've been talking about these past couple of weeks about growing your business and just different things in general, social media, um, blue check marks for clout. There's just been a lot going on with just things that you should really be focusing on if you are a business owner. So, let's get into it. Today's question, or today's not question, but today's topic is how to produce content on a limited budget. Now, yes, technically it is a question because I do get this question a lot. A lot of people are like, I don't know how to produce this content that I see other people doing and you know, social media is just, social media is terrible for, I think, our headspace and what we think creatively of what we want to do. But at the same time, it's a great benchmark to be like, okay, well, this person created this. I will aspire to do that. And I think that's, social media is a double-edged sword. It will work in your favor in that way, but at not the same time, it'll make you question everything you've ever done. Don't let it do that. Um, so really, realistically, how do you create content on a limited budget? So I, <laughs> for the longest time, I remember thinking I need a photographer. I need someone to just take pictures of me every day looking pretty. I need this. I need that. I'm like, how do I afford someone to follow me all the time? And I would think of all of these things and I'm like, well, you know, I have Brendan who's up in LA who's a photographer as well. He's a content creator as well. But he was like, you know, yeah, I could do it. You know, like I need several outfit changes. I need several, you know. And so um, I used to think that way. And you know what? I was like, you know what? I don't need all that. And I think one day I clicked. Um, I was going through... Oh my gosh, I was buying clothes online. <laughs> and I think one of the things that was happening around this time was I was actually creating content for that hashtag show. I used to review two Star Trek shows. One was called Lower Decks and the other was um, uh, Discovery, Star Trek Discovery. So every season I would, I would get the screeners. So that's something I love about working in entertainment, especially if you're doing a news aspect of it. You can actually get these screeners the entire half of the season, two weeks before the show premieres, so that I know what's happening <laughs> well beyond into that. And I'm just like, I already saw half the season and it hasn't even come on the air yet. But what I was doing was... <clears throat> At the time, I had my, because I kept telling my husband at the time, I'm like, I need space to create. And one of the reasons why I love this office space is because I have purposely, I still can't get used to this, what direction to point my hand in. But yeah, <laughs> I wanted to be able to display my business logos. And if I'm creating content with hash or with uh, with facts of life, I can easily sit at that table over there, point my camera in the right direction, and you see the just the facts of life logo behind me. Um, and I wanted the space for such a long time to create content to have a place that is, that is mine, that is branded. You know who I am. You can you know it's almost like being on a news network. You have the logo behind you. Um, but at that time, I didn't have a green screen. I didn't have anything really happening for me that would make a good background. Because when Hashtag gave me this gig, they were like, make sure you have a really nice background. And I was looking at other content creators in their space. And this was during the time of COVID. So I had to get really creative. Um, I wanted to, in a way, make makeshift my living room and I wanted to just I just wanted to throw the the step and repeat banner 
And I was like, if I make a super repeat, man, I can just put it up as a curtain <laughs> and I can do videos here. And then I was like, no, that would be really bad. And so I had my bookshelves of Funko Pops and I was like, you know what? That's a really cool place. Let me put my Star Trek Funko Pops behind me. And so I would do this video in that way where I wasn't necessarily sitting on the floor, but I was standing. So it was high enough where you can see a good decent amount of Funkos behind me. So it was a really cool backdrop. I think people really did like it. Even the video guy that was editing my videos loved it. So I had to get creative on my background. And I know you'll run into a lot of people that will say, you know, if you get lights and um, I know people that just have a blank wall. Um, I saw a video on, on Facebook. I should reshare it. And I think I saved it. Um, how this one creator has created his background and he's like, I use this light and this light and it just, I put a filter in and you can see the circle and then it's this color. And I'm like, holy shit, that's genius. And I was like, man, if I was back at, you know, my old apartment, I would have done that. <laughs> but um, now we have this space. So we, we create in here now. So anytime I needed to do a meeting, um, anything, I'm in this I'm in this office space. And for good reason, because now I could afford it. But I had to get creative. I looked online. I was like, you know, I was looking on amazon i was like is there any way i can make a cool background if so where do i where do i do this and i am super limited on space so for those hashtag videos for those reviews i did it behind a row of funko pop for me shooting personally i think again i was getting to this point but somehow i got to hashtag show um by the way go follow them check them out but I was ordering clothes online and I was like, man, I just need someone to take pictures of me in this, in this, in this. And so it got to a point where I was buying those clothes for a hashtag show. And so at least I had different outfits every time. And so at least I looked pretty in the videos because my God, I was noticing at that time, my face is not as chunky here as it was back then. And I was like, my God. <laughs> so I was like, let's just change up the outfit. Maybe it'll deflect, you know, people won't notice my face too much. I don't know if that worked or not, but <laughs> it made me feel better. Um, but yeah, I was getting just, I was buying different outfits and just putting them into rotation. I'm like, I think this looks cute, this looks cute, this is cute. And then I would wear them. And um, yeah, I mean, it was easy. I love that. It was fun. And so, but I still was in that, in that headspace of, I really need someone to take pictures of me. So at least I can have images of me so we can do like an ad or, you know, um, like, where's that? Well, if you go to the MDMC site or the, um, the, um, our social media page, I haven't done a new one of these, but what I was doing was I would be ordering a ton of clothes. I would set up my ring light and my camera on my phone. And I was like, all right, I could take standalone pictures of me. And my, I did this in front of my closet, which it was a double, it was a French door, uh, solid wood doors that just, when you pulled on them, they opened. So what I did was I had those shut, it was white. And I said, all right, I can take pictures here and then I could probably, well, with Canva, you can take out the background. So now you just had me standing alone as like a cutout. And I was like, I could put this on a design on Canva and it, it looks kind of cool, right? And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I It looked state of the art. It looked like a professional photo. In fact, um, if you go to the MDMC site, <laughs> which we can do that now. Now that we're together here, uh, I'll show you something pretty interesting. Um, which is, it, it's, it's one of those things you just, you have to get creative on in a way that, you know, you probably wouldn't, sorry about that. You wouldn't think, and um, I just had to really think outside the box. But when I go to this, <laughs> this picture was taken in front of my closet, okay? I just had, and it's it's got a good filter on my face. I look pretty there. 
oh, I look so pretty there. But I had just gotten the silver top, which is a spaghetti strap top, super skimpy. You wouldn't even know, honestly. And then I paired it with this velvet jacket, which has, it's black and silver. And I was like, ooh, the silver plays with it. It looks really cute. Let's do it. And so I took this picture from my closet. So now what I ended up doing was I cut myself out. I put my, um, this was just fresh off of the Times Square ad, or yeah, the Times Square ad we had um, in New York last year. Um, you know, I wanted the continents back there and I wanted to have, look like my desk, which my desk kind of looks like that. <laughs> and um, I was like, this is what MDMC looks like. So when I started creating MDMC um, content, I made sure that I took really good pictures of myself. I did my hair up real nice and did everything I needed to do. And then, you know, put it on to backgrounds that it made sense. So you can see, like, obviously I moved my shoulder off this way. And then this part, the other side is, it's not cut off. It doesn't look like there's just a line through it. You want to make sure you get your full body in the, in the picture so that when you place it on your design, that you are placing it in a way that it looks organic and real um same here i did this i took this picture on the street in new york i was in brooklyn i know exactly where i was i looked cute that day same thing i'm like let's position it this way so i can put it to the side of an image and then do that that's exactly what i ended up doing same here now this is where i didn't do this correctly which i should have flipped it which i didn't think of but see how alex looks great here <laughs> He'll probably rewind this and be like, what's she saying about me? <laughs> but see how great he looks here. He he obviously is a master at this far more than I am. I learned this from him. Um, but he took this in front of the Washington Monument. And I, when I said, hey, I need a picture for you for this billboard, this is what ended up happening. So, I mean, even if you watch, let me, let me mute this. Um, which now it bugs me. I'm like, this went up in Times Square. So this square right here, that straight line now bugs the hell out of me. Even though I'm super proud of it, it bugs me. But um, but yeah, so there's that. And then as you can tell, Alex looks really great in his background. But that's how it is. We could be in different places or if we stage it correctly, you know, um, this is just like this, this stages really well. So um, I can actually show you another example of this. Let me stop sharing this one real quick. But if we go to our Facebook page, um, I'll show you the one I was talking about. Um, you really, when you set yourself up to take these pictures, always keep in mind, especially if you're doing the design, what it's gonna look like when you put this picture somewhere else. Like, I don't know how many times I've taken pictures for specific things, and then I, when I went to design them, they didn't look that great. So here's another good one. I, <laughs> we can we can definitely talk about the image for this podcast. Um, let's see here. <laughs> so the new business building and beyond. Like, I, as you've noticed, every season I like to change up the imagery. I really like to keep it more modern and make it look nice. And so for whatever reason, I was feeling myself in this in this picture. But I had unbuttoned the, and this is obviously the same one from the website we just saw, but you do see that you see a little bit more of the jacket here. You see more of this top here. And like, I don't know, this, for whatever reason, I feel like when you put one arm up, it makes my body look thinner in a way. I don't know. And so, oops, 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 oops. <laughs> That's business. Um, <laughs> um, but I don't know. I really like the way this looks. So what I ended up doing was I cut myself out and just had me. And again, you have to hide some of these imperfections in the image or the way your body looks so that it looks like it's it doesn't look distorted in any way um so yeah this is what we did with this look right here let's see here all right let me look at another example here 
to have Jared not message me during this. Um, all right, so here's a really good example. So I used, I was doing weekly, um, I was doing weekly posts of our services. And this picture, man, we used the hell out of this from February to May. And I was like, we have to stop using this picture because <laughs> it's too much now. But um, what we ended up doing here, I had gotten this um, outfit. When did I get those? It was probably, I think, December. I had always wanted a pink suit. I wanted a, a complete pink suit set. I had been looking and looking, really not finding anything. But finally, in one of my email marketing campaigns for a store I follow, I saw their their winter sale. And this suit, this jacket and these pants, I was like, I need this suit. <laughs> so I ran to the store and got it. This top came from another place. And so when i was compiling i would pick out outfits and be like all right you know what let me see what this looks like and so i would sit there and i'm like all right i would pick out my my wardrobe the day before i would mix and match certain things and i'm like all right you know what that looks great let's do that and then i would get ready the next day i would curl my hair do my makeup real nice and there was literally days assigned just for content creation. So I would have really cool pictures to put on here. Here's another good example. Um, this is a different jacket, I think. But I was like, oh, let me do something where I'm pointing at something so I can do this for something, like for a thing. I was playing with some AI stuff. And so I had my interns like make these posts, <laughs> cut me out, make me look cute. Same with this, although I don't like the way this is cut off like that. So those are the things that now when I, when, <clears throat> I don't know, some, sometimes I see things, I'm like, oh, why did that go out? Same with this. I was looking off this way and it looks like I'm looking at the text. You know, you play with poses and really kind of think of the content you're going to be creating down the road. Um, there's that. Same with this one. I was like, this is a cute picture. Um, and I was like, this would look great. And so I popped the collar. Obviously, this line is curved real nice. It's not cut off directly straight. So I've learned from that. And so even my interns learned that. Like, don't do that. It looks weird. <laughs> Same with this one. Everyone, all my friends really like this picture. But I was just, and I got to the point where I was just ordering clothes just to take pictures. Like, don't even ask Jared what the conversation is at home. Like, you have so much crap in your closet. I'm like, that's why. I I have specific pieces that I've picked and I use for different things. Even like this. This just came in the mail today. I mean, I love this blazer. It's super cute. And I'm like, oh, I could film in this. And so immediately, that's I'm going to take some pictures here in a minute. Like, I have a white wall right here. I can definitely take different things to do different things totally going to do that. And so that's what I did here. So I'm not hiring a photographer for this. This is totally on a budget. I mean, I should, I mean, for, for important things, like I have something super important coming up at the end of June, I have to hire somebody to, to film the content for it. So, um, and it's a video, oops, it's video. So I'm like, so I had bought a bunch of con I bought a bunch of different outfits to look cute to do the video for. So there's that. But you have to be super cognitively aware of when you are taking pictures of yourself. You know your angles. You know what looks good. Get comfortable in front of the camera. Don't be afraid and just just shoot it. Um, just like this. This is a flyer that actually has now become a postcard. Um. And I have, this is now a postcard we hand out at shows now, and it's a little bit wider, but same thing. Um, I use the same background 
that I used on the website. So there's consistency. So people can see this postcard, go to mdmc.com, and they can see me in front of that same desk in a different outfit. So the people be like, that place exists. No, it's just a background. But the consistency is important. So same thing. I made sure that you can see all of my body here. And it looks great. Uh, let's see here. I have more examples. I really do. Oh, one hour consultations when I was really pushing this, you know, same thing. I had this in mind to make sure. And I didn't do my hair that day, but I did my face. Well, that was important. Again, I love this top. Have not worn it out yet, but it is in a lot of the MDMC branding. Um, let's see. There is a, a really good example of this. Oh, maybe there's not, but actually you can see my closet <laughs> back here uh obviously this is the old um this is last season's business building and beyond um graphic but yeah this is you definitely i had kept that background in because it was you couldn't tell it's just a white background but i know i can see that that's my door <laughs> um yeah so there's there's different ways of, of playing around with this. This is the, that was the header at one point. Um, and of course it's cut off that way because I had to make sure it would stay within border lines. So, um, so yeah, I think that's all the examples I have, but literally you do not need to hire a photographer. I knew this blogger, I have beef with this person, but it, it, I'll explain what happened. So basically this girl that I knew I worked with, um, she was new to the California area and really wanted to become somebody kind of like an influencer. And I, if you can talk about my influencer things in the past video, I talked about that about TikTok. but this girl, she was so adamant about becoming somebody that she was, she had a really bad job. She worked with me, obviously. Uh, well, we worked for somebody else, not for MDMC. This was before we both became entrepreneurs. But um, <laughs> she would spend <clears throat> like a hundred bucks on an outfit and another hundred bucks on a photographer. And she was doing this every weekend. She During the week, we'd find the outfit and then during the weekend she would shoot in different places in san diego she was spending 200 dollars a week or four weeks out of the month that is 800 dollars. so there would be days where i'm like oh we're going to lunch you want anything she's like no i'm broke i'm in the hole and i'm like what do you mean you're in the hole she's like oh yeah i spent so much money on this and this i'm like are you serious <laughs> she's like yeah and i'm like and i told my call my colleague i was like i haven't even seen any of those pictures like what is she spending her money on and like we would see certain images pop up and I, <sighs> look everyone does their own thing that's fine but i get it like you want to you want these things to be quality and things like i was like you could have set up a tripod yourself got a clicker like I did. I had a remote control clicker. That's why in some places you can see my arms like this because I had the clicker in one of my hands. So I would just be like, eh, you know, or I set the timer, which the timer is your best friend. But if you are at a distance and you want it, your pictures taken, get a clicker. But anyway, um, she spent all that money and for nothing, really. That blog never really... I mean, it, it led her to become an entrepreneur, but not in that area that she was doing her content for. She was, it went somewhere else, um, which is crazy, which is, I mean, people, again, people do what they do. They feel like they have to have the top of line best thing out there to create quality content. That's not necessarily true. I took all those pictures I just showed you in front of my closet doors. It's, it's about how you can turn that content into something bigger, better. And people all the time would be like, oh, I love your content. I love this, I love that. So I would take, I would, I mean, there's, there's some stuff out there. I still have 
a ton of these pictures on my phone that I haven't even thrown into advertising yet. I haven't done certain things for it. And, I, you know, it's all about getting creative with it. And you can definitely look up people on YouTube that will give you really great tips on this as well. You know, you don't have to have the best thing to create content. Um, I know when I started business building and beyond, I was behind a curtain in my bedroom. <laughs> Those videos are bad. <laughs> They're awful. I hated them because it was just so the quality sucked. But again, we were during the pandemic. I just worked with what I had and I was like, the hell with it. We're just going to do it. Like, I don't care. I just want the content out there. And that's what we would do. Um, then eventually we ended up getting, you know, I did shoot some videos for Authentics in front of my bookshelves with the pops. If we were talking about, you know, comic cons and collecting and things like that, I would go into the room and shoot that. And then at one point, uh, I was, I had a little bit extra money. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my logo. I'm going to put it on my wall. And I remember getting it at the end of beginning of last year. So I would, and then I had my logo up there. So anytime I was doing meetings or anything, people would, I, people would pop up. And that was the first thing I saw. I angled my, because I was literally on the edge of my desk. So I wasn't even facing my desk like I am now. I was at a, at the, like the, my desk was like this way. And I was like facing my camera this way, my ring light this way. So I was at an angle. So I was like, not even facing my desk. I was kind of catty corner to it. And you would see the logo, but it was a smaller version of that logo. And then you would just, that's all you would see. And so my background then changed to the branding. So yeah, you have to get creative on it. You have to, and of course I didn't use that logo because I was working for a company. I really didn't, I really didn't want to really tout, even though they were paying me, it was weird. They were paying me differently. So they, MDMC was not who they were dealing with. They were dealing with Martha as the freelancer. And so I really didn't want that logo up while I was doing those meetings. I waited until that account eventually subsided and things took a, took a weird turn. <clears throat> so when I was not meeting with them anymore, I was like, you know what, throw on up the logo. We're going to just run with it. And so now I throw this logo up all the time. I do meetings all the time. People see this now. People associate it with me now. Um, yeah, that's, that's how that worked. But, you know, there are ways you don't have to spend a ton of money for backgrounds. You can go to, to Amazon. Uh, a green screen doesn't cost much if you can't. Um, I know people that were buying fabrics. Like, I thought about that, too. I was like, well, if I find, if I just go to the fabric store and get a yard of fabric, I could just throw it up against my closet and I'll just sand and do videos that way. Um get a green screen and tack it up on the wall like that like you have to really step outside of your box and really not worry what people are going to think but create what you want to create creatively and so you don't need a lot of money um and you know that's just the filming aspect um when you get into creating that content for social media you know, Canva is only $12 a month if you want the pro stuff. I, I suggest get the pro stuff because the lower tiers just never cut it for me. You, They say it's free, but once you create something in order to download it, you have to pay the upcharge for it. Just pay $12 a month. That's it. A StreamYard. I, I think we're still on the lowest tier StreamYard, $25 a month. Um... So right there, you're at what, $37 a month for creating your content. And then your phone is free. Well, I mean, using your phone, you have to pay your monthly bill, but um, just being able to use that, you know, that's not a problem. You know, you can just set up your phone and do what you need to do with it and take the video, video that you need, the content that you need. Uh, <clears throat> I remember, super budget, super, you know, shoestring budget. I, when I 
got let go from the last job I ever held. That was when I worked with a business coach. I saw her because her office was cool. I'm not gonna lie. I really did like working in the building I was in. I just didn't like the person I was working for, which is one of the reasons why I made friends with other people in different offices because I wanted to see their offices and see what they were doing. But um, I saw where she would be in her office from one of her videos or she would shoot at her desk or the conference table and then we would see outside or you know she would set it up in a way i used to see her take her ring light in different places of her office and shoot and i honestly i really did like that office it was up in a, in a high rise <clears throat> and in certain places you know i liked i liked being downtown because there are certain parts of downtown that look like new york and i was just like wish I was there versus here in hell, uh, working for a psycho. But um, I did see what she was doing. I, I got tips from that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask too much because then she would get really defensive. Um, <laughs> she's a fucking psycho. Anyway, um, but when, right before I left, you know, I was like, you know, what? I could do the same shit. I could, I could say this, I can make videos like this. And so what I was doing was my apartment complex is pretty cool. The, the greenery is beautiful. I have a pool. You've seen it before. If you follow our social media pages, we have backgrounds of the pool. We have different things like reels are done differently in different spaces and I would shoot some content as I was sitting on the table with the pool behind me. Cause I was like, that's, that's pretty cool. It's soothing. It's pretty, it's aesthetically pleasing. You'll probably sit there and watch it for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I did. I would take my, my little stand and I would go, I remember the first time when I got let go, I was talking about organic marketing. I went across the street to the park and I found a cool little background and I was like, I'll do the video here. And I, that's what I was doing. I would find different places around my complex, set up my camera and I would just talk to the camera. I had, if I didn't want to be inside doing it and if it was a pretty day, I'd go sit in front of the pool. I would like, there's, like, it's crazy. I mean, let me, let me see if I can find something for you. <laughs> so you can kind of fully understand, um, kind of what I was thinking here. Um, let me see here. I, I don't know. <sighs> you know, when you have no money and you don't have a studio and you really don't know what the hell you're going to do and how are people going to take you seriously? Because that was my thing. I was like, people are not going to buy from me. People are not going to do this or that or whatever. And because look at where I'm at, look at what I'm doing. Um, Oh gosh, if I could find, let me see here. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's wild. The things that we do to create content. Um, some of my earliest videos on this channel were done in front of, you know, I remember, I know exactly where I was in my head. Like, you know, I was down and out when I was like, you know what, I'm not working for the psycho no more. I'm going to do different things. I'm going to do, you know, whatever. And so I think, let me think. I think this is a good one. Let me let the commercial go through. But I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, you can go on Fiverr and get video intros done for like five bucks. Um, you can find a lot of different interesting things done. I just saw this intro and I'm like, my God, this is old. Uh, let's see here. Oh my God. This was three years ago. Let me share my screen with you real quick. Let's see here. It's crazy how far we've come, honestly. So this is definitely in front of my pool. I was sitting, uh, I was sitting in these chairs that they had there. Um, I look awful here. I thought I looked decent. I was like, all right, I found 
I had my black blazer already. And I found like the only pink thing I had in the closet. This is a really old pink shirt that I have. I don't know if I have it anymore, but I was like, all right, this looks like MDMC Entertainment. This looks like my logo. Um, so I did that. So I just sat there in front of, um, let me see. This one is another one. I think organic marketing. All right. So I did this one at the park. Again, I got this intro on Fiverr because I was like, let's really work on entertainment and all that. So I thought I was going in that direction with the business. Um, I just winged it at this point. I, I spent $5 on that. And so here I am at the park. I literally set up my camera outside. Again, entertainment. I know exactly what I was thinking here. Entertainment, I got a shirt with stars on it because I was a fucking star. <laughs> I was literally grasping at straws here. I was like, let me just set this up. There's some palm trees in the back. There's some greenery in the back. Let me just make this video. And I just did it. I just went outside. That was free. Um, and again, this was three years ago. Uh, let's see. I don't know where we were here. All right. So here's a really old school video. This was me in my apartment. <laughs> this horrible window was awful. Like I literally had these curtains. It was 2000. And this space right here would be where the MDMC logo would come into play later. Um, but yeah, I would do, you know, I was like new year, new stuff, new goals. I was super excited for where I was headed. Uh, who would have thought it would we'd be here? It's, it blows my mind the difference three years could make. Um, I'm not sure what video this is. Let me see. Um, all right, so I shot this. Okay, so another one thing that I used to do again, I had this cute shirt in my in my closet. I do not have the shirt anymore, but I would get really pretty. I would put on a cute shirt and I would go film. This was on my patio. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I wanted to give you guys different options to see. And then at the same time, as you can see, this is shot vertically. So, yeah, not not the brightest thing, but whatever. Um, avoid marketing scams. Oh, I did this in front of, I was very pissed when I got let go from there because I'm, I'm talking about marketing scam. But see what I mean? So this was a very sloppy background. Um, and this was when I only had one bookshelf there. I think. Um, oh, I was really into planners then. <laughs> so again, this is shoestring budget. I'm like, hey, I'm talking about certain different things. Let me let me get in front of this bookshelf here with Austin St. John's helmet signed right here. It's crazy. But literally, this is what I mean. If you have a message, spill the message. But who cares what the background looks like? As long as you're doing something. Um, yeah, you literally have to get creative on these. Um, I know when I was at the next level speaking conference, Jeremy Anderson, same thing. He said, you know, I was, I was in my backyard and I would, I would be preaching and speaking and then, the, you know, some Rottweilers would be barking. And then he'd be like, I was barking too. I'm like, see, this is the message. And I was like, oh my God. But it's, it's crazy when you get look at the past and you're like this is what i did and i've built on it ever since then i can show you and if you've been with me long enough you know that you know that little part in that apartment i had that mdmc logo behind me so nothing really i just changed certain views of what you saw oh my god but yeah i mean i would just go out and even here when i was doing reels I did this by my pool again, you know, I was doing, you know, I would make reels at the desk. Um, here's a ton of reels I made in my little office there, you know, um, another pool shot, you know, so you have to, again, I didn't hire anybody. I literally just set up the camera 
Here's a really good example. I just set up the camera and started working. And this is all in my old office. Oh, yeah, good times. Oh, little Martha. But yeah, so yeah, things not to ask, not, or things to ask an entrepreneur, you know? So I did this quick little picture, like, hey, you know, here's my new series. You have to, you don't need even this right here. This is a good one too. This is where I got the logo on my back. Like, so then now the branding happens. So there's nothing stopping you from creating content by all means. I mean, I know we can get frustrated and we see other people doing different things. Their spaces are lit different. They're spending all these money on lights. You're, you're, you've got, I don't recommend putting those neon lights in your room because I know people had said when they take them off, it destroys the wall. Uh, be careful with what you're doing. Definitely Amazon has super budget friendly backgrounds you can use. Um, you can find some pretty cheap lights. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get decent equipment to get you started. And also if that message is sitting in your head, just spit it out somewhere. Um, you know, it took me a long time to get to this point where I have this wall and now I have three, three more businesses to add to the wall. I mean, it's been a long road, but do not let the fear of you not having the right equipment stop you from creating the content. Um, and these are my real life experiences. I know that you can go to look at any other content creator and I'm sure they'll tell you the same thing. We may do with what we have. Um, you have to be resourceful in this, you know, this road doesn't come easy, you know, um, it's not like one day you said, I'm going to be a content creator and poof, all the things you needed appear. It's never like that. Never will be like that. You have to build towards it. Um, I had someone else who hit me up, who was constantly asking for help on, you know, how to create this, how to create that. I'm like, dude, just get out there and create. What are you waiting for? You know, you know it's only you stopping you and your self-esteem stopping you because you think it's not good enough for people to see. If people are talking shit about your content, block them. Like you don't need that negative energy, period. People are either going to support you or they're not going to support you. Don't even waste your time on it. Do what you need to get to do to get the job done and call it a day. Um, and yeah, that is basically how you produce but you know, content on a limited budget. I mean, I lived that for a good while until, you know, the money started flowing in. And now, yeah, we try to record everything we can here because obviously we worked hard to do it. So we won't, we won't create anywhere else, but we hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's beneficial. If you have questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, do all this stuff. If you can't afford to hire us for your marketing needs, the least you can do to support us is to give us a like and the follow. We appreciate it. Also, um, this show is broadcast on YouTube, but it's also on uh, the podcast version. You can go to um, any place that you get your podcasts and you can stream us that way and take us on the road with you. So if you don't want to see me, you can listen to me anywhere you go. Uh, thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.